A paralyzed man left with no way to get around. He says police took his wheelchair as evidence after he witnessed a violent crime. Tonight, the Fox 2 problem solvers are trying to help him get that chair back. Mario Lou is on the case. Marty D is a Detroit rapper who says he was paid to perform at a Detroit nightclub. He's been paralyzed from the waist down since he was 10 years old. So when shots rang out and people started running, Marty D had no choice but to crawl to safety and leave his wheelchair behind. Because it was so much shooting going on, I was just trying to, I was just trying to get away from, from the, the, the whole scene. Seven people got shot. Two people that out of my entourage that I was with had got shot too. Marty D has spent the last two weeks being carried around by his younger brother. It made me feel useless and it made me feel helpless. At times, you know, I'm independent. I like to do everything on my own. His wheelchair was tagged as evidence after a brawl at the Capacity Teen nightclub on Detroit's east side. Seven people were shot. I couldn't get to the side of the building where everybody ran to, so I had dived onto the ground and scooted onto grass into the front of the uh, of a car that was out there while the shooting was going on. And um, as they started shooting, they, as they were shooting, the bullets was hitting the car. It felt like they was getting closer to me. The rapper crawled down the street and told his brother where to find him. His cousin carried him to the car and they drove off. Marty D said he tried to go back for his wheelchair, but police told him it was behind the processing line and it couldn't be released. You guys do a better job with keeping up with other people's property because you know this is a serious incident where this, this person needs his legs. This chair is his legs and he needs his legs. When I got shot every day he was by my side. So every day I wake I still wish that he was with me. Marty D was already the victim of gun violence, shot on accident by his 13-year-old neighbor when he was only 10. Now he raps about surviving in Detroit. Late in the day, Detroit police told me they would make this right by replacing Marty D's wheelchair. Police confirmed it was tagged into evidence, but say now it's unaccounted for. Police also say Marty D never should have been told to go home without it. I'm Mario Lou, Fox 2 News.